the very northwest part of Washington, right beside the Canadian border in the middle of the Salish Sea, is a place called San Juan Island. It's a popular tourist destination for people who want to see wild orca whales, and it's also the place where Josh and I got married. In this video, I'm going to be talking about some of the top things to do on San Juan Island. The only way to get to this island is by ferry, and as soon as you exit the ferry, you'll enter the charming little town of Friday Harbor. Friday Harbor, which is only one square mile in size, is the heart of San Juan Island. It's cheerful, colorful, and full of life. The quaint streets are lined with shops, cafes, bookstores, museums, and art galleries. On the complete opposite side of the island is Lime Kiln Point State Park. This park is considered one of the best places on earth to whale watch from the shore. There are several scenic spots to have a picnic, there's a historic little lighthouse, trails, and tons of photo opportunities. Once a year during the summer solstice, they have an orca scene concert here, which is where a choir sings to the orcas, and sometimes the whales actually show up for it. Whether you're on the north, south, east, or west side of the island, you're very likely to see kayakers dotting the sea. There are a ton of businesses that offer kayaking tours, and kayaking off the shores of San Juan Island will give you a whole new perspective of the place. While most people who go on kayaking tours here hope to see whales, that's actually kind of rare. You will, however, most likely see sea lions, eagles, jellyfish, geese, and lots of other wildlife. And if you're very lucky, you could even see a whale. If you're serious about seeing whales while visiting San Juan Island, I suggest taking a whale watching boat tour. This will most definitely give you your best chance of seeing them because the boats can travel to where the whales are instead of waiting on the whales to come to you. And most of the boat tour businesses, although rivals, will actually communicate with each other as to where the whales are located so that everyone can have the experience of seeing them. After taking a whale watching boat tour, it's really fun to visit the Whale Museum located in Friday Harbor. This is a great place to learn more about the southern resident orcas, and while you're there, you can even adopt your own orca. It's only $35 for an individual adoption, and your money goes towards orca-related education and research. In return, you get an adoption certificate and a picture of your orca of choice, a year-long membership to the Whale Museum, a 10% discount on merchandise, monthly email updates, and more. San Juan Island is a beautiful place, and it's the perfect place for hiking. The island is home to miles and miles of trails, and no matter which trail you choose, you're very likely to see a variety of wildlife and a breathtakingly beautiful view. If you're feeling adventurous, you can take a ferry to one of the other nearby islands. Moran State Park on Orcas Island is home to Mount Constitution, which is the highest point on the San Juan Islands. The lavender farm is completely free to visit. You can sniff and compare the different strains of lavender, you can walk the grounds, and you can visit the lavender shop located on site. You can buy lavender soaps, lotions, oils, chapsticks, and well, you name it, and they probably have it in lavender. And while you're here, you can even learn a bit about how they create their lavender products. As you can imagine, the island has many beaches to explore. You can search for sea life in the rocks, do some beach combing to find shells and fossils, play in the sand, fly a kite, or just walk and enjoy the sea air. If you visit South Beach, you can make a beach fire with the excessive amount of driftwood on the beach, which is encouraged because, well, there's tons of unwanted driftwood on that beach. For such a small island, there's a wide range of restaurants to choose from. There's even an all vegan restaurant on the island, which is one of the best vegan restaurants that we've ever been to. They even had vegan crab cakes. It was delicious, and even my non-vegan family members enjoyed the food. Located on the north side of the island in Rosh Harbor is a really cool sculpture park. This park covers 20 acres, has several trails, and a pond. The sculptures are always changing, so it's always new and interesting, and there's even a lot of things to keep kids entertained, such as a sand pit. 
At one point in time, Great Britain and the United States both occupied San Juan Island, so they decided to set up camps on opposite ends. To this day, both camps still exist for people to visit. On the north side of the island is English camp, and on the south side of the island is American camp. I personally like the English camp better, but it's fun to visit both places and compare the two. That pretty much covers my top things to do on the island. If you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching. See ya.